My name is Michael Polarski. I'm with the Friends of the Trees Society and the Global Earth Repair Foundation. And I've been working in dry lands and semi-arid lands for about 50 years now. Bill Mollison came and gave a dry lands permaculture course to me and a group of people that I organized in 1986. It was the first dry lands permaculture course ever given. I was privileged to be there and learn from Bill Mollison, got to sit at his feet. And that guy was one of the best people in dry lands in the world at the time. And so I want to pass on the information I learned from Bill and all the information I've been studying all these years. So as a result, I'm going to put on a dry lands permaculture course. Things are not good with the world's dry lands, folks. The deserts are spreading. They're getting drier. The semi-arid steppes are turning into desert. And grasslands are turning into semi-arid shrub steppe. Whatever the cause is, if you start losing soil, if soil starts eroding, it's a gradual process downhill. This is the process of desertification. Dry lands are about 40% of the world's land surface, and a lot of people live there, and they're having an increasingly tough time. There are thousands of techniques that have been developed by dry land people all around the world over thousands of years. The Wadi culture of the Middle East, the Nabataeans had a wonderful rainwater catchment systems in the Negev Desert, Yakuba Saudago. In, uh, in Africa is doing fantastic work. Uh, there's a man named Rajendra Singh in India, in Rajasthan, and he's helping villages build dams and ponds and hold water in the landscape. And as a result, rivers are flowing again that had dried up. And the villages are turning green and people are returning home from the cities because now they can make a living there. So. In a sense, we are trying to restore that heritage that there used to be that people relied on the deserts and the semi-arid drylands for part of their income and, and to do it on a sustainable basis. There's techniques for cities, there's techniques for the country, there's techniques for erosion gullies, we have techniques for sand dunes. We want plants and systems that are good for income and they're also good for the ecology. There are thousands of people working on this around the world, but we really need a lot more attention. We need a lot more funding. We need a lot more people involved. And so I'm going to bring together as many resources on dry lands as I can, on how to do restoration, how to do regenerative agriculture, how to fix up uh, overgrazed lands. So I want to pass on this information on to another generation. Hey, old people can come to my course too but I'd really like to see a lot of young people there to take up the torch. We need millions of people more getting into this dry lands restoration. We better get started because it ain't getting any better. Stay tuned folks, and I hope to meet more of you down the trail in this dry lands restoration movement.